What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Banish from the Heroes Party. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Banish from the Heroes Party, episode three, last episode. We saw Rit. Mm -hmm. She is a love interest. Guaranteed. Our protagonist, Red, is gonna get together with her. She is coming for him hard. She's aggressive. She knows she likes him. She's going after him. And she's like, I'm gonna help you with this business because Red, he's pretty uh skilled. He has a lot of knowledge, but he's got bad management. <laughs> And, you know, Rit was going to rule a kingdom. Well, maybe she wasn't going to, but she has a potential because her and her brother were in the battle of succession, even though she didn't really want to, but people were pushing for her, you know? So she could have run a kingdom. She could have run a kingdom or a duchy. It was actually a duchy, right? She can run a store. And this episode, I don't know what it's going to be about, but it looks like... It's going to show them running the steward together, but I'm hoping there's a lot of action. Not love action, but, you know, fighting action. Drama action. Confrontation with the hero. Something! There he is. There's Red. Mm -hmm. Oh, you slept on the floor? Did you give the bed to her? She's supposed to get her own bed in this episode, right? Because she said that she's going to get furniture the next day. Oh, dang! That cleavage action. <laughs> Let's start our quiet life together. <laughs> All right, so he's been there for months already. That's not really why she had trouble sleeping. Ooh, that's right. Red can cook. She likes his cooking, right? Why do you have a busy day ahead? What you guys gonna do? Go home and get some paintings. The impact of artwork. What kind of artwork is she going to bring? See all this stuff. How about 1.5 which comes out to 30 perils a month? That's a reasonable salary for it. Live and help. For Rit though, that seems low. Is it really low though? Since she set it up, yeah, might as well go with it. <laughs> he unintentionally agreed again. <laughs> Man, Brit is really good at leading the conversation. Yeah, she could lead anyone to buy anything with that type of attitude. Mm hmm Try haggle with her. But... Being here is the right answer for me. We have left the blood-soaked path of the hero. What's Red doing here? What do you mean, what's Red doing here?
Oh, look at that, that heart. Oh, did you have a crush on her? Oh, look at him. What a good sport. I think he had a crush on her. <laughs> the double bed. <laughs> <gasps> She's like wimp. <laughs> Be aggressive. Be e aggressive. I really like this. It's very refreshing. Very straightforward. And it's not like he doesn't like her. Not like he's shy. And he's not pushing it away. Almighty Demis? A lineage and education have no impact on the blessing. Huh. Oh. So those of royal get granted the thief blessing. So she's a thief? She has the thief blessing? That's why she has those. Totally. Okay, so her weapons totally made me think of Final Fantasy. Yo, those kids are covered in blood. Is it blood or, or um, mud? Yo! Hey, hey, what is going on, boy? Are you getting beaten up? Oh! Oh! Ooh, at your level, you should be fighting monsters with the adults! Ooh. That means, as a kid, he can go out fighting. He holding back so he doesn't fight with the adults? But he wants to show off his power to the kids? Hmm. Is Al a boy or a girl? I didn't know I had, you had it in your head. So Al looks like a girl. It is a girl. Demi wasn't always so violent. Oh, blessings affect a person's personality? Interesting. Crossman's blessing, you'll start liking making things. Mage blessing, your thirst for knowledge. Bar brawler blessing? Bar Brawler Blessing? <laughs> That's a, that sounds junk! <laughs> Natural Born Brawler. Right? This is a crappy blessing.
But some blessings aren't good, and they steer them towards evil. What's a counter blessing to that? Oh, have you discovered what your blessing is? Weapon Master Blessing? Wow! Wow, you can master any weapon! That's so cool! But wouldn't your personality be... Oh, Red has a scout blessing? Spirit scout, how interesting. Her blessing craves freedom. Oh! Which would be bad for her. Stay with the duchy. But with a weapons master, they can have an affinity with a variety of things that are flexible. So with Red, his was like the guide, right? So maybe he always likes to help people, always likes to guide them. Oh, I'm surprised he's not a teacher. Look at him guiding this child. Good job, Red. So, did his sister, Ruti, did her personality change once she got the hero blessing? So cute! Bye-bye, children. We're all big and strong. Ooh, once we change the shop's name, I won't you let I won't let you off easy. Oh she's like stay here forever. Yeah get him girl. I'm so rooting for her. But why you say no? What? Why is he so angry? <laughs> She's so free. She's like, let's just go over his head. <laughs> Oh, the timing is bad. Why is the timing bad? Oh, no. It was only a month, approved a month ago. And it's being used as a narcotic. What was it? What is it? Oh dear. <laughs> it's funny that he approves this one and this one's fine. And it's not addictive. Mm-hmm, help your man. He says, I'll do anything for you. Oh, he's so bashful. His blushing face is refreshing, too. Yes, 
welcome the touching, the affection. A hit remedy. I like her casualness. Ooh, that looks good. That looks delicious. Boy, maybe you should sell bentos in your shop too. Healthy bentos. Be like, oh, I use this ingredient that I sell in my shop. <gasps> They're gonna do it! They're actually gonna do it! What kind of food are you gonna sell? What kind? What kind? Apple jam! So, are you gonna make pills? What are you gonna make? Cookies? Are they cookies? It's yummy! <laughs> this will be popular with parents who have a hard time giving medicine to their kids. This is like gummy vitamins. Medicine without the bitterness. Ooh, free samples! Ah, you don't want cookies! Mm-hmm. Samples are good. Ooh, they're selling like hotcakes. So there is the anime on Crunchyroll about um Isekai Apothecary 2. It's an Isekai thing. This is not really isekai. And that anime, I was expecting it to be like this. But it wasn't. More like slice of life thing. This one's a lot more exciting. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, what are you sick of? What are you sick of? What's happening? What's going on? Oh, they're looking for a, a weapon? Previous Demon Lord's weapon is going to be easy to find. Lowly people who won't even obey the king of this land. Oh, why are you so hoity toity? Oh, uh, yeah, with people. You're very bad with people. Oh, the guy's gonna look for Gideon. <laughs> He's gonna look for Red. Being like a shortcut to defeating the demon lord. Oh! Oh, he said it was a fatal mistake for banishing Gideon. He did not leave on his own will. You told him to leave. What are you trying to say? 
Oh, she says she'll allow it. Oh, <laughs> Aries. <laughs> Mm. It seems like Aries wanted to monopolize Ruti. He wanted to control her. That's what it seems like to me. Yo, Gideon, what? Oh. What? And she liked him. <laughs> that chick probably liked him too. <laughs> Mistakes are bound to repeat unless they're called out. Oh, yay! We're going to see a reunion! Ooh, I like that. He'd be hard pressed to slay a night. What if Gideon doesn't want to go back? And that's my reaction to Banished from the Heroes Party Episode 3. Girl, Rit, you go, girl, Rit. Get your man. Mm, that's the theme of this episode. <laughs> Get your man. And um, she's doing really good. And I like how Red slash Gideon is welcoming it. He's not pushing it away. And the whole medicine cookie thing, I was not expecting that. That was really cute. Super, super cute. And uh, the last part of the episode. Okay, I did not expect that either. Like, I knew or predicted that the party, the heroes party, were going to need Gideon. But I didn't know it was going to be to that point where Ares blundered with negotiating with people. <laughs> like, they're seeing value in Gideon as a guide. Mm -hmm. He has value to it. And it's really showing how Ares really took it upon himself to banish Gideon from the party like it seemed like he did not consult it with the other party members and when Ares told him what told them what happened they're like oh okay sure you know yeah he wasn't that strong yeah but then once they traveled without Gideon they're like crap we need him and I do like how they explain in this episode that blessings do affect the personality of the person so it's kind of making me wonder if Aries wasn't always like that and I believe he's a sage and didn't they say like sage stuff and whatnot is bestowed on commoners I believe that's what they said if it's not you can correct me in the comments but Aries is so hockey. It's like, is, was he influenced by his blessing? Or was he always like that? Like, what's your damage, bro? But besides that, what did you think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on Twitch.tv slash Iho outside of YouTube and Twitch. I host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lee Hua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Banished from the Heroes Party, episode 3. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!